Well, <laughs> okay, at least the Vikings lost to the Bungles. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> pretty sad day for Minnesota and, and Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But we'll see. I, uh, the Bears haven't played yet, so. Yeah, and they'll lose. So, to, yeah, still, they're still going to lose to the Rams. They might. Honestly, they will. Honestly, they they might, will. I really hope. With Andy Dalton. They will. I hope he gets messed yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. Field, yeah. yeah. I've got to get to today. Right about now. The Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now. The Funk Soul Brother. Right about now. The Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now. The Funk Soul Brother. Right about now. The Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now. The Funk Soul Brother. Right about now. The Funk Soul Brother. Right about now. About now. About now. About now. What's poppin', y'all? It's your man, Clapboy Bells, and welcome to another episode of Wisco Sports. Um, so anyways, the Packers got absolutely embarrassed today, and I made a deal with him. If the Packers lost, he get to be in my video, so just yeah. to roast me, so that is that unfortunately was... the problem. So this is my buddy, Adon. He's yeah. from Chicago, so he's a Bears fan. Unfortunately, he's been living the terrible life his whole life, watching the Bears choke it up, <laughs> but... He can roast for, as of right now, he can roast me until the Bears get demolished by the Rams, but we'll right. take it. But honestly, this was an absolutely terrible day for the NFC North, regardless of everything. The Vikings lost to the Bungles, too, so Vikings fans are a little bit pissed off, but at least we lost to a team that actually I can I'd say is pretty good. Now, Actually, though, you said they weren't good. You said... Where they don't have any receivers. All they have is Elvin Kamara, James Winston. You yep. said all that. Ye yeah. Then <laughs> I did say that in my last video. The unexpected yeah. happened. Yeah, I did. That's unfortunate because I don't. I I didn't think they. I didn't think that we get blown out in week one. But that that, that is, is exactly what wild. happened. That is exactly what happens. I've never seen Rodgers play that. Well, that is what happens when you don't have your. Starters play for three consecutive preseason games. No one's, none of the starters played, so like no one even had any playing time. What do you mean they played last year? They're good. Well, <laughs> no, I'm just saying when you you don't your starters don't even play, and then Aaron Rodgers just shows up to camp at the last minute. You know, it just think... the whole team just was combumbled. Maybe. It looked like Rodgers didn't even want to play. You know, no, he doesn't. Well, yeah, that no, was the whole doesn't. talk of the off season, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, every off season. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just trying to live the life here. It's kind of crazy. It's okay. I hope um, Andy Dalton gets really messed up. Okay. I hope I, he gets injured and we don't have to. We don't have to okay, I really don't want to wish that on somebody. But <laughs> I don't either. But he's just he's not. Well, a if the Bears right. actually want to be good, they need they 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 should have started Justin Fields week one because they no, know no, no Nagy no, and Pace's no, job are on the line. You know that. I, good. I hope they get out. Okay. I really well, hope both of them. You get think out. so? Okay. Especially Pace. Ryan Pace has to go. Okay. I think a lot of Bears fans can agree with that one. Even and Packers fans know that he's a dummy, but I'll get. I guess I can live the life. So, anyways, uh, looking at the stats on today's game, um, Aaron Rodgers went 15 out of 28 for 133 Oops. yards and two interceptions. Got sacked and had one of the lowest quarterback ratings he's probably ever had. Love did actually get some playing time. He went 5 out of 7 for 68 yards, and then we actually almost scored a touchdown, and Sick. then some idiot, and of course the offensive line just could not protect him and forced a fumble because I guess everything just wasn't really working out. No one did anything on the running game. Dylan had four carries for 19 yards. Colin Hill had 5 for 14. Aaron Jones, 5 for 9. So really, it wasn't that much. Devontae Adams, 5 catches for 56 yards. Cobb, didn't play the entire game, and they finally put him in. He gets a catch for 32. Um, and then everybody else just really did not do much. I mean, everyone got at least two catches for, like, a little big game. It really wasn't much. How about on the New Orleans side, Jameis Winston, oh really, he just looked good. But um, he didn't even throw that many yards. That's yeah, that's crazy. what's crazy. He only went 14 out of 20 for 448 yards and still threw five touchdowns. I mean, wow. he looked I mean, he was making, and a lot of it was because, you know, we turned the ball over and, you know, gave them a lot of good field position and really the time of possession that the Saints had in the first half. We hardly got the ball, but they really used a lot of time up, and when they were up 17 to, three, you know, three at halftime, it's like, okay, man, we have the ball. 
that you could actually go down and score, and then Rodgers throws a pick. So it was like, okay, it was unfortunate, and after that, I kind of just gave up at that point because, you know, I, I just I just kind of gave up at that point. Kamara uh, had 20 catches for 83 yards. I'm, I'm sorry, it's 20 carries for 83 yards. The other guy, Tony uh, Jones Jr., had 11 for 50. Winston ran the ball a lot. I don't think I've seen him run that much. Uh, Deontay Harris had two catches for 72 yards and a touchdown. That was a long bomb that Winston. Um, Dewan Johnson had three for 22 for 21 yards and two touchdowns. Um, Chris Hogan, I didn't even know he was on the Saints. He had a catch for a touchdown. Alvin Kamara also. Alvin Kamara had three for eight with another touchdown and. Uh, five touchdowns. Yeah, Marquez Callaway had a catch for 14. It was just some things, and the defense really was doing their job and. Uh, Davin, Marcus Davenport sacked Rodgers. Uh, Marcus Williams and Pierre Edebo were both the ones with interceptions. Um, and really, this was just a game after the defense of the Packers really just could not do anything at this point. After Rodgers started throwing picks, it pretty much was just going bad for them. It was even one play that was like an interception that we got, and then it was actually the only positive play that we had. It was like 24-3 to at that point. So it was like, okay, this... There's some light here, and then they actually called the cheap roughing the passer penalty that really, really shouldn't have been called. But honestly, at that point, I think it was just the game was already, I think, over at that point, so it really didn't really matter. So, so to be honest, week it, it's only week one, so honestly, you get losses, and honestly, you can come back from them and do a bit better. So I'm not really worried about it. I mean, I watched the Bucks be down 2-0 twice, and they still won, and they won the finals, and I'm just like, okay, you know what, it's just only one game, and there's um, 16 more games, and you know what, if, if one team loses, it's like, okay, there's a whole season. I mean, Jacksonville won their first game last year, and they lost the rest of the 15. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a season. You never know what's going to happen. That's true. You know, it's just crazy. Bears so, can win tonight. You know, if the Bears then, win tonight and then they completely mess up their season, it's just that. might. Probably will. You know, that's just how it is. I'm not going to – but I'm not going to argue about it. It's just things – I guess shit happens, you know. I'm not – Stuff happens, yeah. Yeah, I know. We'll see next week. If they lose next week, then I don't know. But I don't think the Packers are really – Well, the Packers play the Lions, I so they – I oh. the, the Packers should win next week. We'll see. We'll see. It's they at struggle. home. It's, I mean, if you win at home in a Monday night football game, you should at least win that game right. against the Lions. Hey, Lions are a good team. No, really? <laughs> they got Jared Goff. I, what? Yeah, they have Swift. Swift? Yeah, Hawkinson. Okay, Hawkinson's good. I'll give you that. Hawkinson's good, but look, they're, look the, the rest of their team is – No, no. Look at the stats. Look can at the see, stats. Can you see them just wreck the Niners? Wrecked the Niners. The Niners still beat them. They did, but they almost caught up at the last. They were down by a lot, but. Oh yeah, that was another crazy thing. Uh, however, that was it was it was. A, it was uh, looks like the Chiefs stream. beat the Browns though. No. Oh yeah, that's that's what's unfortunate. Yeah, that's a bummer. I was actually really happy for a little bit. Wow, oh, they came back. Browns were winning. Oh, the Chiefs. I hate the Chiefs. Yeah, that's... I like them, but I don't like them. Yeah, I know. It's been. I don't know. It's interesting. You know, we've seen a lot of crazy games. Um, I mean, my fantasy right, teams are right. doing okay. Three of them are, two of them are fine. One I lost, but it's all right. It's just what you I love the Bengals. I love the Bengals beating the Vikings. That is actually That's pretty funny. That's the saddest way to lose. <laughs> yeah, anyways, other games. Dolphins beat the Patriots 17-16. 49ers beat the Lions. Broncos beat the Giants. Uh, Steelers actually beat the Bills, which was a little bit of a shocker, oh, given yeah. that the Bills, you know, they seem to really know what they're doing. The Panthers beat the Jets. Uh, yeah, a lot of other crazy games don't touch that. A lot of it, you know, it's a lot of crazy games, but it's it's only week one, and we got a game tonight, we got a game tomorrow, and I got schoolwork, and I got life, and I don't know what else is gonna happen. So yeah, we've seen some pretty crazy things. Already some injuries happening. We probably lost Jay or Judy's probably out the rest of the year. Ouch. Yeah, that's a big tough loss. We're already seeing uh, Jason Verrett with that. 49ers. I think he's going to be out the year. We already saw some guy try to punch a, from the Browns get ejected for punching a Chiefs coach, and a lot of crazy stuff. And a cat fell off. Huh? And a cat fell off the roof on Hard Rock Stadium during a Miami game. So and it survived. 
Yep, it survived. Someone caught it. So, anyways, Saints win, Chiefs win, Eagles win, uh, Steelers win, Bengals win, 49ers win, Cardinals win, Seahawks win, Chargers win, Panthers win, Texans win, Dolphins win, Broncos win, and then we got two more games to go. So, it'll be an interesting week. Um, obviously, you'll see me next week. Obviously, I'll get my, my predictions for next week. And if you are liking we'll this content. We'll have a Vikings fan here. What? We'll have a Vikings fan here. Oh, okay. Maybe next time we'll have a Vikings fan. And a Lions fan. Okay, Lions fans don't exist, dude. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. I, they're, they, I, feel, I kind of feel bad for them. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they're, they're crying. I feel really bad for them. They're crying for like so Okay, many anyways, if you like they what you see. They did beat the Packers, though, in 2018. Okay, if you like, if you like what you see, subscribe below, comment with your thoughts, and hit the notification smash, bell. Smash the like button. Yep, smash the like button. Do <laughs> not hit the dislike button. I will. I will find out who did that. We'll do that also. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Give know. us whatever. Do, Give us care. whatever. Give us our feedback. We know what we're doing. Anyways, it's Matt Cloudboy Bales and my buddy Adon. Stay safe. Be smart. And as always, go pack go. We will see you next time.